Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Uh, what I have here in front of you is a Lenovo ThinkPad uh, Z13. So I got this for review a little while ago uh, and I did one quick review on it. Um, I'm kind of doing a follow up to that. One of the things that I know that uh, some people wanted to see was actually seeing if it's possible to install Linux on this machine. I just want to show you some of the things I'm doing to do that. Uh, because this is a loader, um, I'm not going to screw up the OS installed, so I actually grabbed a second SSD that I have to install Linux onto. This currently has an OS on here, which I was using on another machine, so I don't mind blowing it away. So that way I can have a fresh install um, on its own individual drive because I have to return the laptop and I don't want to have to go through the whole process of reinstalling Windows on it. So that's the only reason for a different drive. You can obviously, if it's your laptop, use the original drive that came with it. Uh, I do have um, Ubuntu uh, 12, or was it 20, um, 22.04, there we go, 22.04. We'll talk about why I picked that version here in a, or that particular flavor of Linux here in a moment. Um, so let's go ahead and get this SSD in here. Uh, it just goes right here in this little slot. This is a really tight slot to get this in and out of. It is really, small and I have big awkward hands all right there we go and it has this copper heat sink for the SSD with two screws I'm sorry I'm just having to reach long around the camera here so I'll show you here on my screen once I got this put back together um, why I picked um, Linux now I had looked at some other options like uh, pop Linux or mint um, things like that and those probably are all viable options especially if they're based off of Ubuntu which I know a lot of those are um, so if this works I'm sure uh, just about any Linux version will work now one thing I've not done is I've not made any changes to the BIOS at all yet so some people were mentioning on my uh, post on reddit that um, might need to make some changes to the BIOS. There's still some security features that might keep us from being able to install Linux. I'm not going to screw this down. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not. So we'll go through that process together. So I'm going to adjust the camera. We'll talk about why I'm picking Ubuntu here. All right, so we have my laptop, uh, my Legion up here uh, on the screen. Now you can go to lenovo.com slash Linux and it'll bring you to this page. Uh, and if you scroll down to the bottom, because this is, is in alphabetical order, the ThinkPad Z13 has been certified with Ubuntu 20.04. So that's why I picked it, is <laughs> because it has been certified. If you click on that link, it brings you to this page, and it tells us a few things here. Um, this is the BIOS version that was tested. I don't actually know which BIOS version is currently running. Um, so we'll check that um, and then it says the microphone mute notification LED does not work properly on this system so there's a problem that we're going to run into right away but there's the processor now this is a Ryzen 5 Pro we're running a Ryzen 7 on here but I believe everything else is the same so this is just a system that they certified it with um, my system slightly different so Let's go ahead and readjust the camera again and look at installing the Linux operating system. All right, so we have the system booted into the UEFI. I keep trying to call it BIOS. I'm sorry, that's because that's what I've called this part of the system for 20 something years, um, almost 30 years. And so it's just by force of habit, but uh, UEFI. And uh, I have my uh, Ubuntu installed onto a USB drive and then of course I have this stupid adapter that's probably again one of my biggest complaints of this system is the fact that I have to use an adapter if I want to use some basic things like a USB thumb drive or a mouse um, I think it's ridiculous that I can't have a mouse plugged in without an adapter um, anyways so we'll plug this in and there should be just one setting on here that we change to be able to um, install Linux so if you go down to security we go to secure boot and I do have default settings all default settings on, on here and then allow Microsoft third-party 
UEFICA. Change that to on. Then we're going to save and exit. And yes. Now we're going to hit enter. And this is one of the reasons why I hate glossy screens is I can see this reflection um, even when using the computer. So I'm sorry you have to look at me through uh, a silhouette of myself, but uh, we'll get here in just a moment. Now this takes a long time with that USB thumb drive plugged in to boot, significantly longer than without a plugged in. Not quite sure why that is. Uh, probably just because it's scanning it or something. I don't know. Hit interrupt, we hit enter. And then we're going to go ahead and hit F12. And then we have our USB drive on there. And, and it's really slow. This is a USB type, uh, USB uh, 3 drive. Um, there we go. Try or install. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go ahead and hit install. Well, first and foremost, the mouse is working fine. Screen looks great. Um, English, English. Continue. My wife. Oh, dang. I wasn't in the box. Let me move out of the way so I don't show my password. Continue. Normal installation, download updates when installing Ubuntu, install third party. Erase disk, that's fine.
All right, so we are up and going with Linux. Um, Linux has really come a long way in the last couple of years um, and has a lot of support for a lot of laptops, a lot of drivers built into it out of the box, uh, but not everything works all the time. So we're gonna run through just a few quick things here. Uh, first and foremost, volume speakers. That looks good. Uh, brightness. That looks great. Obviously, the touchpad is working great as well. Um, what else do we want to put on here? Airplane mode. I'll go ahead and install this now, I guess. Airplane mode enabled. Take it out of airplane mode. Um, yeah. Uh, the fingerprint reader, that's something I didn't try. I'm not even sure how I'd set that up on here. Fingerprint login. Put our password. All right, so okay. we lock it, and Windows L does lock it. And the fingerprint sensor works. So as far as I can tell, oh, the microphone that actually looks like it's working. So on and off, uh, seems to be working just fine as far as the light goes. You see that turning on and off. So yeah, even that light that it says was uh, possibly an issue, doesn't seem to be the issue. Um, let's, There's my most recent video. This is a real B and H customer. Turn off the uh, audio. Yeah, everything seems to be working uh, working fine. So close out of that. So that is a Linux on this Z13. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, thoughts about that, let me know down below. If you have anything uh, specific that isn't, you know, doesn't cost me money to do, I could definitely try to give it, give it a try out, uh, see if it works. Um, I did install it on that other SSD so I can put the windows back in. I do plan on using this for a week or so as my daily driver, um, giving it a go with that. So I'll be putting windows back in just because I need to do that for work. There's some applications on there that I have to use. I'll see if I can install them on Ubuntu, but I don't think I can. Um, anyways, if you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave that down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. I uh, hope this was helpful to somebody who's looking to install Linux on the ThinkPad. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.